Hello, welcome back to another video. And today I want to give you my thoughts on the uh, yesterday announced uh, or revealed changes to Redstone Dust in 1.16 and uh, why I think uh, some of them are a good idea, some of them are a bad idea. And I, I want to make a, I want to make a suggestion to Mojang on uh, one of them. So uh, please share this video wherever you can to get a Mo Yangster to see this video if possible. It would mean a lot. This is really important to me. And as a quote unquote professional, I've been doing this for what, eight years now? Uh, six, six and a half years maybe. You can see on my channel a lot of stuff. I know what I'm talking about. So um, the one thing I want to make an offer on is this one. So they showed this feature where, um, well, first off, Dust has a hitbox on the side now. And so um, if dust travels up a transparent block like this, this will no longer be powered. In the previous versions, and that was abused a bunch indoors, and redstone in general was uh, this dust would still point into that piston, but also go up the thing. So um, this is fine. This is totally fine. If, um, and this is the suggestion, Mojang, please consider this. Could you make an exception for slabs and hoppers and uh, stairs from one side? Because here it makes sense, right? The dust travels up the side of this block and powers uh, that block, so it doesn't point into there. But could you maybe make an exception for slabs? Because there is no full block here, so there is no dust traveling up here. So it could be acceptable to point the dust still into that piston. This wouldn't break anything in redstone at all, since we use slabs instead of glass, and um, it would make it. It would offer us more possibilities, and more possibilities are great. So pl please, please think about this for for like a minute. The oh, the only thing which would be affected are blocks without a full hitbox. So um, slabs, hoppers, and stairs are like the most important ones. Maybe iron trapdoors, but like uh, no one uses they, those. Come up really really rarely, but they do come up, so um, I would just su suggest um, uh, making it uh, just check for a solid block uh, next to it, so like that. So if there's no solid like block side here, then the dust points into the piston because it's not going up the block like here. That's my one suggestion. Please think about it. And then it would also offer us even more possibilities with the stairs, right? Because the stair has one side with a quote-unquote broken block uh, face, like this, where it would, uh, well, my suggestion would be that it would still point into this. And on the other side, which uh, it's, it doesn't have, by the way, right now, is uh, the normal dust hitbox. So it would act like a solid block face and not. This would give us a lot more possibilities, and it's somewhat logical. You said these changes are to make this more logical and to behave the way you'd expect it more. So this this is, in my opinion, this is completely logical. Here you see dust, here you don't see dust, so it can just point into that. Please think about it. All right, moving on. Um, Target block being solid, um, I don't think anyone will complain. This is, by the way, a really cool thing that it connects to the dust and therefore it will now power that uh, repeater due to the new, like, pointing stuff. That is really cool, like that, no complaints. Oops. Although, why do they make the TNT sound when placing? Um, the next feature was um, the fact that since it always powers the sides where it points into, this will now um, fire these pistons. Uh, no matter from where it's powered. And um, I I would like to offer an explanation on why the previous way made sense, why that was logical to me. So in this example, you have, imagine redstone like a flow of uh, energy, right? It gets weaker from the source. So the energy, tra the, the redstone travels from this torch outwards. So here, you can see the redstone travels from the source to the left, so this points this points that way, and that's why it wouldn't power the piston from below. While here, it points to the right, so the source, and then it flows to the right. So here it points into the piston, and that's why it uh, powered it. On the previous versions, that's, that's why I think it's logical and should not uh, be the way it is right now, because again, this will break a lot of redstone stuff. 
Although I can understand that you want uh, this vertical this vertical dust to point into the piston, so I totally understand why you're going for that now. This is this is accept this is fine, honestly. And then for the last change is uh, this one. So a dust with a single strength of one pointing into a uh, block to the side like this will now uh, hard power the block, but not the stuff on top of it. So uh, yeah, basically powers the block with a single strength of one as if it would be a block right here. So um, even though, like, even if it points to elsewhere, um, I do not uh, have a big problem with this, although it will break some stuff. And here's a um, suggestion or explanation. So uh, uh, how you could say it's it was logical beforehand. So um, if the energy of the red star, if the dust is able to travel a meter in height against gravity, it should also travel onto this block, right? So this dust powers the gold block and this dust right here powers the white wool. So this dust right here, this placing should also, this dust should also be this one. So since this dust right here on the side only appears when I place this dust, this dust and this dust should be the same. So this should be off, this should be off, and therefore this shouldn't be powered. And before you say, but this is still pointing into that with a single strength of one, if you just for a second consider if we scale this up, right? If this gold block is these nine gold blocks. So a, a dot now looks like this, right? So we have uh, this bit is its own dust, 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 and the middle is its own dust. Then if we have a single strength of one, the dust is only strong enough to travel to the middle of this block. So if we just imagine it like that. So uh, if it's one, it reaches here, but it doesn't reach here, so it doesn't point into the block. And then if it's uh, two, then it will uh, just like uh, go over to the next cross, to the middle of this, right? So that's uh, my suggestion on why this was logical beforehand and this shouldn't be changed. Because this causes a bunch of issues, the fact that does pointing now. So um, if we look at this, right? This right here fires this dropper. Because this dust points into that repeater and therefore points onto that dropper. That did not happen before. That will break so much in like bigger doors in the bottom storage particular. I can put a screenshot on here uh, right now if you want to. So here's my suggestion again. Again, we imagine this key T-pointed uh, dust is uh, these T-pointed slabs right here. So why would this dust even try to power this repeater? This dust does not know this dropper is here. This dust only knows that repeater, that repeater, and this dust. So this dust right here, or this collective dust, knows this is the output of a repeater and therefore it doesn't even try to power it because it knows uh, there's an input right here. So my suggestion slash explanation why it was logical is because the dust knows it's connected to an output of the repeater. It doesn't even try to power it since it knows the output of a repeater cannot be powered. But, uh, yeah, I hope this made sense. Again, I hope uh, we get to share this on Reddit or in email and shit, and uh, someone actually gets to see this. This is not like bar. This is okay. That one is bargaining, but this is not like angry re change don't. This is like offering an explanation on why I thought it was logical and why I think it doesn't need change. Um, again, if you take anything away from this video, please, please consider. This with the slab being a non non full block, so there won't be dust, so it can point, and also the stairs having both uh, at once, that would be like the best thing ever. This would actually allow us to have more components and doesn't restrict us. While uh, this is also good, this gives us more options. This is kind of uh, restrictive, but this is n nearly as important as this. So uh, yeah, and this one is also kind of it, it's. 
it's okay if this uh, like I wouldn't mind it, it, it it's it's not ideal but I wouldn't mind um yeah so um, if anything from this video uh, consider these slabs and then uh, yeah, that's it. If you have questions, write me in the comments. If someone from Mojang sees this, please write in the comments what you thought about this. I hope uh, we can like cooperate or something if you want. And uh, yeah, um, the only thing, uh, me as a uh, like I as a professional like redstoneer, um, actually one changed right is uh, dust being locational, so dust acting different in different places because in the code there is a hash map uh, to order all the updates. And then there's a thing called the repeater chain or the chain bug in general. So if you uh, take a look at this, this uh, torch will not turn on this this comparator unless there's a repeater in front of it. Because for whatever reason, um, so the comparator does not read the torch because it happens after the stuff in the checklist. However, for some reason, this repeater in front of it like heightens the priority of this comparator. So this comparator does actually read the torch, which is not how that's supposed to go. This is also a problem in chains, which are, this is also a problem in chains, which are mainly on. You can see the last one, the la last comparator, no matter how many I place, it's always the last one doesn't turn off because this shouldn't turn off, but this gives this higher priority. So this does turn off. And the, all along, and this doesn't have anything in front of it to give it higher priority, and that's why the last one always gets stuck. Uh, that's the th uh, second thing that should—that's like the only annoying bugs in Redstone. And the third is a thing called hopper aging, where hoppers, uh, after a random amount of time, change the delay or become faster, and that makes hopper timers um, inconsistent after a while. So. Um, yeah, that's like three things I wanted to mention in case Mojang is unaware of it. I don't know. And then uh, this is okay. This is the, uh, the only part in the video which is more like crying and complaining. But like, uh, this sucks. This is like 99.9%. .9 this is not like a hindrance and not an actually used feature. This, I've only seen this used once uh, in the years since you've introduced this. Also, this doesn't make sense. If this power, this block emits power and uh, locks uh, locks this comparator, then uh, this should also lock it, and uh, this should also lock it, and most importantly, this should also be locked because this block is emitting power, right? So that that's an inconsistency, and uh, please don't change it to this. This would be so horrible. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope uh, some of like I hope my nonsense made se like I made some sense, uh, especially with the slab one. Like please, please, this is like this would be big if this gets like through. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And ev everyone who's not at Mojang, please share this on Reddit, on Twitter. Try to t try to DM people. I hope and uh, if you agree, of course. And. Uh, yeah, thank you, and uh, bye. Without the Optifine zoom, this is really hard.